Wyoming Agriculture Hall of Fame picnic, uh, sponsored by Chesapeake Peak Energy, Wyoming Livestock Roundup, and Farm Credit Services of America. And our staff members of Farm Credit Services of America here today are Martha Weishadel. Raise your hand, Martha. Esther Clark, Garrett Horton, and our, one of our new members, Greg Anderson. So if you guys see them in the crowd, say hi, and they'll be happy to visit with you. So, and with that, I'll pass it on to Dennis. Oh, Sam. Well, I didn't know I was first, so. Uh, I'm Sandy Andrew, I'm the local operations manager, uh, basically for the Rocky Mountains for Chesapeake Energy. Um, I, I think most of you know how busy we are around here. Um, we're real pleased to, to be able to help participate and sponsor this tonight. Uh, this community obviously means a lot to us as a business partner, and uh, we're particularly uh, particularly interested in the good relationships that we hope we're developing with the agricultural community. Uh, I grew up in Wyoming, so I'm not an outsider, and uh, for that reason, uh, it all is very personally important to me. So we're thrilled to be here tonight. We're glad we could support this uh, this wonderful event and be a part of the State Fair, and we'd like to continue to, to work our tails off to be uh, good Wyoming citizens and good corporate citizens and uh, welcome everybody tonight. Uh, I got just a couple folks here from our from our organization I'd like to introduce. We've got Lori Heath here tonight who's our state regulatory affairs manager. Uh, Kelsey Campbell uh, is right here. She's our uh, one of our, uh, our government, uh, I, I'm not sure what she is, but <laughs> government relations uh, people. Uh, my lovely wife Julie and my daughter Sammy were, uh, were gracious enough to join us here tonight, so uh, love being a part of this. Uh, hope everybody has a great evening, and we're looking forward to the, uh, to the awards and, uh, and to the feed. So thank you very much. Well, thanks a lot, and, and again, welcome. We're, we're honored everybody showed up. Uh, I'd like to, to introduce you to our Roundup team. Uh, first, my wife Peggy, my daughter Andrea is back here, son Jeff up there, uh, and our, uh, our new, one of the newest members, Chris Sink, is soon to become uh, my favorite son-in-law. So, congratulations to them. <laughs> uh, uh, Sage Albert uh, is right here. Uh, Kirk Cox, his wife Diane, the, the twins Carter and Cooper are over there tearing the highway apart. <laughs> we have Kelsey Tramp, his new, we're here. Uh, Amanda Bell. Denise Olson is in Gillette. And then we have TV and April Jones that, that uh, help us also. Uh, this time I'd uh, I'd like to, uh, if there are any past winners of the uh, Wyoming Hall, Ag Hall of Fame, would you please stand and you'll look on your, on, on all tables, there's uh, the names and everybody, so if, uh, just stand up and wave if you're a past winner. I know we got a lot of them here. And yeah, I forgot, Jody is here. Jody Michelina, I'm sorry, Jody. I always forget somebody. Just, uh, uh, some other people that's in our audience uh, is our state treasurer, Mark Gordon's here with us tonight. We're, we're proud to have him here. Also, uh, the University of Wyoming president, uh, uh, Robert Sternberg, is here. He's new. We're, we're really honored to have him. Here he is back here. His wife Karen and three two year old triplets. So we're glad to have you, and Wyoming's big enough for him, so stick around. That's tough. Also, here is, a, is an old friend of, uh, of agriculture in Wyoming. We hear him every morning on K2 News, K2 Radio. Brian Scott is here. Where's Brian? So, we're glad to have Brian here. Yesterday he was in Casper and uh, won awards, annual awards from the Boys and Girls Club. 
him and 1,200 of his closest friends were, were in attendance. So, Brian, thanks a lot for all you do for Wyoming and agriculture. We're, we're proud to have you this morning. Uh, is Susan Thomas here? She was coming. I don't see her. Okay. Uh, kind of a run through of how we pick the, the Ag Hall of Fame winners every year is we put out in the paper announcement we're looking for uh, applications. We send out applications and neighbors or people that know them or whatever uh, send us in an application. And that application is good for three years. And so uh, every year then we pick three people from different parts of the state to, act, to rank them. And we don't tell the three judges who each of the other judges are, so there's no collusion. And then they send in a ranking sheet and uh, we tally it up and uh, whoever has the most points is uh, that year's Ag Hall of Fame. So if you know of a neighbor and they're out there, uh, or somebody that you think's doing uh, has been doing great work for agriculture, uh, get us get an application from us and fill it out, and it's not hard, and, and send it in to us because there's a lot of deserving people in ag out there that we need to uh, to have. Uh, we're we're lucky again to have our three uh, members of the congressional delegation. I think we all deserve to give them a big hand for their work that. They do in Washington, D.C. We know it's not easy being in Washington, D.C., but they're doing a darn good job. This time, I'll uh, introduce Senator Enzi. Always a pleasure for Diane and I to be here and get to see so many of our longtime friends. I used to call them old friends, but now it's longtime friends. And uh, to be a to be a part of this presentation, and, and so glad that we have the sponsors that do it, and of course Wyoming Livestock Roundup. And uh, this year we get to recognize a couple of people. And uh, John, you want to come up here with me because uh, John and I both worked on. Uh, on these awards and we made a speech on the floor of the United States Senate which has been printed up in a gold line to uh, also recognize these these folks and so uh, I get to go first and recognize Dick Loper. Dick would you come on up? <laughs> While he's coming up I'll, I'll read this. Uh, Mr. President I wish to speak on about Dick Loper, who will be inducted into the Wyoming Agriculture Hall of Fame as the 101st Wyoming State Fair in August. Since 1992, Wyoming has recognized individuals each year who have made substantial contributions to agriculture in our state. This year, I have the honor of presenting this award to Dick with my colleague, Senator Barrasso. Dick Loper is known across Wyoming for his range land consulting, federal agency cooperation, and community involvement. As a rangeland consultant, Dick has served Wyoming's farmers, ranchers, and agricultural organizations throughout his entire career. He has also worked as a range consultant to the Wyoming State Grazing Board and has been involved in the organization since its creation. Rollins Rancher and 2011 Wyoming Agriculture Hall of Fame inductee Niels Hansen commented, since his time in the Reagan administration, Dick has made his home in Wyoming working as a range consultant and helping teach many ranchers about the benefits of range monitoring and good range stewardship. Dick is best known for his commitment to the health of Wyoming's rangelands. For over 30 years, he has worked with the Bureau of Land Management, BLM, permittees, and other parties to advance livestock management and oversee the implementation of range improvements. As a member of the Committee on Rangeland Classification, his efforts were crucial in gaining national attention for rangeland health, which led to the establishment of standards of healthy rangelands. These standards now give public land users and managers clear goals for grazing. Dick Loper is also active in a variety of community organizations important to Wyoming agriculture. He served on the Society for Range Management Select Tax Force 
on unity and concepts in the Sustainable Rangelands Roundtable. For his service, Dick has been honored with the Guardian of the Grasslands Award. On a personal note, it seems I can't go very long without visiting with Dick Loper in Washington. In addition to seeing him in Wyoming, Dick is regularly in D.C. for meetings with federal agencies and other partners. It's always helpful receiving the latest on public lands during his visits. I'm proud to have the opportunity to recognize Dick Loper's achievement with Senator Barrasso as a 2013 inductee into the Wyoming Agriculture Hall of Fame and its public lands are well served by his lasting and continuing contributions to our state. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Senator Lindsay and Senator Brasso. It's an honor, obviously. Uh, I'm humbled by this experience. Uh, take a look at the back of that sheet. Uh, the people in Wyoming that have been honored up to this point. Uh, it's, a, it's just humbling to be able to join that group. And I want to just say that, you know, a lot of us do an awful lot of traveling uh, to do our job. Uh, I certainly could not have worked in this position for the State Grazing Board, uh, who's been just wonderful to work with, Glenn Alameda, the chairman. Nels Hansen, my good friend. Dennis son has been my friend and uh, mentor for a long, long time. Uh, my wife gets to stay home and keep the pipes from freezing and, and uh, keep things like that going on so I can be on the road to maybe do what I possibly can to help out. But it's the family ranches in Wyoming that we really do honor uh, because that's what really Wyoming is all about. And I continue to be privileged to work for the State Grazing Board and for the ranchers, family ranches in Wyoming. Thank you very much. At this time, uh, if anybody that wants to take pictures later on or something, we'll do a photo op over there again with Cowboy Joe. So uh, if you didn't get a picture, just wait and we'll get them over there. This time I'd like to introduce Kelsey Campbell from Chesapeake Energy. Hi. Um, again, I'm Kelsey Campbell with Chesapeake Energy. Um, we're very, very proud to be partnering with the Livestock Roundup here for this event. Um, as well as partnering with the State Fair. We know, I'm a Wyoming girl myself, so I know how far apart we all are most of the year, so it's nice to all come together here for the fair. I have the distinct honor of introducing our special guest today. Wyoming's U.S. Senator Barrasso has long... All right, well, my <laughs> former employer and our U.S. Senator, John Barrasso. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you, Kelsey, you don't have to go any further than the... Uh... Wyoming Livestock Roundup, uh, page one. Loper service recognized in Hall of Fame induction. Knuckles honored for ag service. And I think we ought to bring both the whole Knuckles team up here of, uh, of JW and Thea so I can do, the, as you just did, Senator Enzi, and read from the congressional uh, record. So JW and Thea, if you could please come up. Recognizing J.W. and Thea Knuckles, Thea said, I don't have to read all of this, but I'm a senator. I'm compelled to read all of this. I, this is uh, in the Senate. You know, Mike, there's more people listening here than usually listen when anyone speaks in the Senate. So we don't usually have this kind of a good... And we got it published right here. Mr. President, I will soon be attending the 101st Wyoming State Fair. During the Ag Hall of Fame picnic, Senator Enzi and I will have the honor of recognizing J.W. and Thea Knuckles as they are inducted into the Wyoming Agriculture Hall of Fame for 2013. I cannot think of two people more deserving of this recognition. The Knuckles family came to Wyoming from Virginia in the early 1900s. J.W.'s parents sold 100 horses in order to purchase the original ranch in 1917. In 1943, the family entered the sheep business by purchasing 500 head of sheep to stock the ranch. J.W. was only 12 years old when he began trailing ewes from Moorcroft, where the sheep were bought, to the family ranch 26 miles away. 
J.W. returned to the ranch after graduating from the University of Wyoming. He was in the market for more sheep when he met his future wife, Thea. He purchased part of her family's Cordale flock. The future couple subsequently ran into each other again at the Wyoming State Fair in 1958, 55 years ago this week. They were married the following year. How fitting it is for them to be honored together in the same place where their lives with one another began 55 years ago. Over the past five decades, J.W. and Thea have built a strong, diversified ranching operation. Thea bought registered Angus cows into the family, and together she and J.W. have built herds of high-quality cattle and sheep. Their contributions to agriculture go far beyond their own operation, however. J.W. and Thea helped to start the Mountain Sheep, the Mountain State's Lamb Cooperative and Center of the Nation Wool Cooperative, which serves 1,700 participants and markets approximately 5 million pounds of wool each year, resulting in gross sales of nearly $10 million a year. JW continues to serve as a board member to this day. In addition to the cooperative, JW has been, an act, has been active in the Wyoming Stock Growers Association, Wyoming Farm Bureau, Wyoming Wool Growers Association. They has served many years as a 4-H club leader, serves on the Wyoming Cattle Women's Association, Wyoming Wool Growers Auxiliary and Crook County Farm Bureau. JW and Thea have been stalwart representatives of the agriculture industry in every way. Wyoming Stock Growers Association Executive Vice President Jim McGagna has said that the sheep industry is stronger because of JW and Thea's involvement. This couple embodies what Wyoming is all about. Honesty, integrity, and hard work are second nature to them. Their willingness to share their knowledge and experience with others ensures that the sheep industry and agriculture in general will continue to be strong in both Wyoming and America for years to come. I'd like to extend my congratulations to JW and Thea and thank them for their dedication to the Wyoming way of life. districts in Cook County, uh, three of them consolidated into one district. And uh, I was from the Devil's Tower district, and that's what we wound up naming the entire county, it was Devil's Tower Conservation District. Anyway, our uh, director at that time told me that uh, I'd been nominated for Conservationist of the Year and that they usually gave that to one person. But since my wife was such an integral part of the operation, they were going to give it to both of us that year. So that was the first time that, that more than one name appeared on the Conservation Award. Well, 39 years later, the person that nominated us for this honorable position said, well, they've only been honoring one person, but if I'm gonna nominate you, I'm gonna have to nominate your wife because she does most of the work on that. <laughs> you know, I think I see a pattern developing. <laughs> well, our family greatly, greatly appreciate this honor. And uh, it's just, so nice to live in a state where you have so many people that step up to the plate and do what needs to be done for all of us. And now, uh, for the last word, I'm going to turn it over to my wife. Well, I <clears throat> First, I'd like to thank Ogden Driscoll for this nomination. Um, thank the uh, Denison and the Roundup uh, Farm Credit Services of America and Chesapeake Energy for sponsoring this event because I think this is one of the most fun events of the State Fair and I look forward to it every year. 
Uh, I'm very humbled and honored to receive this award. When I look at the list, like Dick said, this list is incredible. And so it is very humbling to um, be included in this list of great people of our state. For the past 54 years, um, incredible ride with this guy and since he does not know, understand the word retirement I guess the ride's not over <laughs> and, and Mike when you look at a team like this we're very fortunate to have with us uh, our wives, Diana Enzi and Bobby Brown Barrasso. Please welcome them. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Senators. We appreciate that. Now we're coming to Bud Tillier's favorite part of the evening. We introduce the Rodeo Queens. <laughs> Holly Kennedy, Miss Rodeo, Wyoming. <laughs> here tonight. As Dennis said, I am your Miss Rodeo Wyoming 2013, Holly Kennedy, and we are so happy to be here supporting Wyoming agriculture. Hello, and I am Lisanne Fair. I proudly hold Miss Sublet County Rodeo Queen, and I am highly honored to be here at the Wyoming Livestock Rodeo, or be here at the Wyoming Livestock Egg Appreciation Barbecue. Thank you. Roundup for putting on this agriculture appreciation picnic, as well as Weinrichs for catering tonight for us. Thanks, guys. Good evening, everyone. My name is Casey Allen, and I'm here representing Wyoming's best source for agriculture news and events, of course, the Wyoming Livestock Roundup. I'm proud to be in this Wyoming Livestock Roundup. I'm very honored to be here. To end, we have Dennis hosting us, as well as Weimar's Fuller catering for the awesome food that we're going to have. Thank you. Good evening. I am Christina Albertini, the Miss Sweetwater Ramp Sorting Queen 2013. Thank you for allowing us to come to the Ag Appreciation Picnic, and congratulations to all of the inductees into the Hall of Fame. I try not to trip over the cord. My name is Bridget Seidel. I'm Miss Cody Knight Rodeo from Cody. And I am so honored to be able to witness the inductions of the, of the Wyoming Livestock Roundup Agriculture inductees. Thank you so much for having us. Enjoy your dinner. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Watson and I proudly represent the Laramie Jubilee Days Rodeo. And being an FFA, um, an FFA member and an ag, um, Oh goodness, excuse me. Um, and ag major at the University of Wyoming, I am so honored to be here talking to all of you people and I am so happy I could be here. Thank you very much. from the classroom president, Dennis Ellis.
Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Dennis Ellis. I'm the president of Ag in the Classroom Board. Um, just quickly, at Ag in the Classroom, it's a very exciting time. Uh, we're working right now on deploying a, a kindergarten through 12th grade a curriculum that meets all these core standards that you hear about. Education is very complicated these days. But a, a good set of curriculum that can get in the classrooms, and, and the main focus of it is so that Wyoming kids will know where their food comes from and why the light switch turns the lights on where that comes from. And that, if we could do that with every Wyoming kid in the state, we'll be doing a great job. Um, quickly want to go ahead and recognize all my Ag in the Classroom board members. Um, half of them are here, but just hold your applause till the end. Uh, Connie Losey from KC, Douglas Hamilton from Worland, Teresa Brown out of Hewlett, Andrea Dockery from Lander, Glenn Whipple from Laramie, Shelley Falkenberg from your hometown of Douglas, Patty Michaeli out of Fort Bridger, Garrett Horton out of Grable, and Patrick Zimmer out of Huntley. Give them a round of applause, please. And uh, like any good nonprofit, we have a, a group of four people that do this stuff day in and day out and travel the state to try and get this information into the hands of the teachers and the kids. And that's our executive director, Jesse Defoe, uh, Jennifer Follett, and Jamie Hageman. You might have heard of the Hagemans, right? Yes. Uh, there's, a, there's a few special Ag in the Classroom people that I did want to recognize that are here tonight. Uh, Mr. Dennis Sun who served as a former chairman, Mantha Phillips, who's a former chairman, and Linda Hamilton, whose son's now on the board, was our first chairman. So we have a multi-generational board going. Those three served as the head of Ag in the Classroom 25 of the last 27 years we've been around. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> uh, one other quick person I want to recognize right over there, and maybe embarrass her, but Susan Thomas is in the crowd. She is a great supporter of Ag in the Classroom through the Craig Thomas and Susan Thomas Foundation. And last, my favorite part, I get to introduce our congressman. Uh, I've got to introduce Cynthia maybe on a half a dozen occasions over the last several years, and it's always hard because she's a very vibrant person with a neat background. It seems appropriate after Rodeo Queens came up to mention that uh, when she's 21 years old, she was uh, uh, one, uh, Miss Frontier to be the head queen of Cheyenne Frontier Days, which means you go everywhere from Calgary to Las Vegas representing Wyoming, which is a pretty neat deal. And uh, quickly turn that around to be the youngest female ever elected to the Wyoming legislature at age 24. So rodeo queens, there's a lot of pressure on you to do some cool stuff. <laughs> uh, with that, I'd introduce Congressman Cynthia Lummis. Thanks, Harrison. Thanks for taking over the helm at uh, Ag in the Classroom. Mantha Phillips did such a fabulous job for so many years, and I know Dennis will too. He's an old ranch kid from the hole in the wall country, right, Dennis? And um, it is just an honor every year for me to get to do this. Uh, this picnic and that Centennial Ranch thing coming up this weekend are two of my favorite events in the whole state because it's the people I respect and the love that I share with you for what you do uh, that makes this such a proud moment for me. So I get to introduce the Educator of the Year. It is Tommy Sue Willie. Tommy Sue. Well, Tommy Sue's coming up here. I want to let you know that Ag in the Classroom is blessed to have fabulous sponsors, Anna Darko, Wyoming Department of Agriculture, Wyoming Livestock Roundup, and Mantha Phillips. So can we give those four prime sponsors a hand for their tremendous support of Ag in the Classroom. And there's a table here that is just beaming at the moment because uh, Tammy Sue Willie's family is here and I'll bet you know some of those folks her father Joel Bowsman was the 2012 Hall of Fame inductee and Joel would you stand up this is a family as you all know that that has done so much for this state uh, as they uh, work and live and help others work and live in Wyoming, make it a better state, uh, and make families in Wyoming uh, 
as strong as a family can be. And so what would, it's just so nice to have you up here. Now I'm gonna tell a little bit about you. Okay. Uh, Tommy Sue Willie has been a fifth grade teacher at the Little Snake River Valley School in Bags for eight years. She teaches ag and natural resource related lessons in her classroom and on field trips a lot. She's assisted other teachers in her school to plan ag related lessons and field trips. In 2011, Tommy Sue taught ag in the classroom lessons to the entire elementary school. She bought bum lambs and brought them into class. Wool fleece, wool fabric, and sewn wool garments invited a local spinner to give a demonstration and gave students a taste of roasted lamb meat. So what an appropriate year to have J.W. and Thea also on this stage. Tommy Sue's been trained by the National Energy Education Development and in 2012, she organized and taught energy science lessons to all the elementary kids as well. So we've got the two staple industries of Wyoming being capably and ably taught to the next generation. In 2009, she organized and taught a natural resource expo for third, fourth, and fifth graders from Bags and Encampment at a ranger station in the Medicine Bow Forest. Outside of school, she's active in her community through service projects, church activities, and as a 4-H leader. So you are truly somebody after my own heart. Uh, Tommy Sue served on and chaired her school improvement committee and helped her school prepare for the advanced ed accreditation in 2008 and in 2013. She sets a high quality example as a professional educator and she helps other teachers do the same. And one of her favorite quotes, which I, I conclude with, because it's just so typical of what uh, someone like, like you would choose, is by John Lubbock. If we succeed in teaching the love of learning, the learning itself is sure to follow. Congratulations to our educator of the year. Thank you so much for all you do for fifth graders and students all over the state. Thank you very much. The plaque says, Exemplary Educator of the Year, Tommy Sue Willie. Thank you. You want to, would you say a few words? Thank you, Congresswoman Lewis. Um, I'm really grateful to my students. I think it's my students who make me the teacher that I am. But I want to thank my family. Uh, my husband and my kids put up with a lot getting ready for an activity here or a field trip there. And I'm gone a lot. Um, my husband actually cooks supper more often than I do because I'm working on school stuff a lot. Uh, I want to thank my parents who are here. They're my heroes and, and my biggest supporters. And thank you to Wyoming Ag in the Classroom. I, I love and support everything Ag in the Classroom does and has done. For a while I served on the board of directors. I hope that there's a way to get more teachers to be able to realize that it's easy to integrate ag and natural resource lessons and still meet the regular state standards. So it's really important for us to do that. Uh, thank you to the Wyoming Livestock Roundup and to Farm Credit Services for this weekend. And thank you all for being here. Congratulations, Tommy Sue, and to your whole family. Thanks, Dennis. I also want to tell you what a privilege it is for me to serve in Washington with our two United States Senators, Mike Ensi and John Barrasso, and it's an honor for me to be with them here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're, uh, we're really honored, all three of you are here, and, and uh, proud that they're in Washington for us. This time, uh, I'd like to introduce Holly Kennedy back in the Florida, Wyoming. She's going to give the blessing for the meal tonight. Thank you. Please join me by bowing your heads in prayer. Lord, we come to you today with a word of praise. Thank you for allowing us to live, work, and worship here in Wyoming. We pray your wisdom upon our leaders, your blessings over our troops, and thank you for JW and and all of the talents that you have given them and they have shared with us. We thank you that we are allowed to come here safely and gather in fellowship. I pray your blessings over each and every individual here today. 
Thank you for this wonderful food provided by our agriculture industry. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, thank you, Holly.